सो द लाइफ अपडेट या आई जस्ट फेल लाइक आई नीडेड टू सिट डाउन फॉर दिस सो द लाइफ अपडेट इज दैट आई सफर्ड अ मेजर लॉस हाई गाइज गुड मॉर्निंग आई वोक अप अ वाइल बैक एंड आई मेड ब्रेकफास्ट फॉर माई सेल्फ आई एम गोइंग टू हैव नाउ इन अ बिट and uh, yeah i just wanted to do like a chill chatty video because i feel like i haven't spoken to you guys in such a long time i i do have some life updates to give you as well and uh, i also did a little bit of shopping from nika before uh, they shut deliveries so yeah let's go So this is my breakfast. If you guys want to know what exactly goes in this, I will leave that video down below. I have given you like a few breakfast recipes. Not that I'm like a cooking channel, but this is just something that I like having for breakfast. breakfast and i'm going to quickly go take a shower i need to wash my hair and uh, kind of yalla just get crack lacking with the day so i'm just going to quickly do my morning skin care and i'm also going to show you guys a couple of things that i got from uh, nika recently it's not like enough for me to do like a sit down haul so i just thought i'll show you when i'm like doing my skin care i've already washed my face with this uh, biotic cleanser and now i'm going to be using this minimalist transparent skin care pha 3% biotic toner so this is actually the first time i'm the uh, first time that i'm using uh, minimalist products and uh, i was very intrigued by everything that this had to say uh, this was also at a great price point uh, this is this is just for 399 which is great i have just used it like two three times as of now so i can't really tell whether it works or not but now i'm going to go in with my revive to lift crystal micro essence i have told you guys how much i love this product i've also done like a full in depth video on this so if you guys want to check it out i will leave it in the description box below i am currently on my second bottle of this revital life crystal micro essence and from the looks of it i think this is now like become an absolute must have for me just saying then i'm going to go in with the l'oreal paris hyaluronic acid serum again i love anything that has hyaluronic acid in it i feel like it really really helps with my oily acne prone skin and as the final moisturizer i'm going to use this pons super light gel again hyaluronic high hyaluronic acid plus vitamin e i love uh, moisturizers which have gel kind of a texture uh, because they absorb into my skin really really quickly and uh, also this pons one is such a good bargain like it is so cheap i cannot even tell you um this is another new purchase uh, i had shown you guys the smaller tub that i got from nika in my previous haul and uh, Yeah, I just got like the big tub now because I'm obsessed. And after I'm done with my jiggy dance, I basically let the moisturizer soak in a little bit and I am going to use this plum facial oil this is like this is amazing 
So now that I'm done with skincare, give some TLC to my hair. Uh, this is another thing that I got from Nyka. This is the L'Oreal Dream Lens No Haircut Leave-In Cream. Uh, I've seen so many people talk about this. I was just like, might as well give it a go. My leave-in conditioner had gotten over. So I was like, best time for me to try out a new product. Then I'm going to take a little bit of this j soup water j water pack this is something that i got from dubai this is like i've never seen anything like this ever before in my life because this is like this comes as a clear thing but when i rub it in like it becomes like this and it kind of heats up and i just put it again on my ends because this has obviously become like so this is what needs the most love and care so this is basically a very potent anti-frizz which works great on my damaged and chemically treated hair. My hair right now feels like butter. Ooh. So that's kind of my skincare, hair care routine. I'm going to quickly go get changed and see you in a bit. Hi guys, so I just kind of quickly did a little bit of makeup and uh, I have a few more videos to shoot today so I just thought like I'll quickly get ready. Uh, so the life update, yeah I just felt like I needed to sit down for this. <laughs> um, so the life update is that I suffered a major loss. I lost my camera. What the fuck? In Dubai. <laughs> uh, yes, I lost my Canon 80D that I used to shoot everything with. And uh, I don't know where it got lost. I remember. So what I was doing is that I had it in my hand. Like I had kept it as my check-in uh, luggage. Mm -hmm. And I had three bags. I had one shoulder bag a laptop bag and my camera bag so in my mind i was just like one two three if i have three straps here that means that i have three bags and uh, once i reached dubai and i was in the metro to reach uh, my friend's place i'm counting three straps and then i see but i only have two bags and i'm like wait a minute where's my camera and then I frantically searched everywhere. I was just like, where's my camera? Where's my camera? And I couldn't find my camera anywhere. I even like, I just kept my luggage, everything back at my friend's place. And I rushed back to the airport to figure out Kahi kuch mil sakta hai because everyone told me, nee, nee, Dubai mein kabhi kuch bhi, you know, ghum nahi hota. Agar kahi hoga, to tumhe definitely mil jayega. So I was just like still hoping ki kahi kuch mil jaye, kuch ho jaye. So I went back, I tried to look, like I spoke to security, everything, everything, everything. But yeah, it was too late. I couldn't find my camera anywhere. I emailed lost and found. I did it all. And uh, yeah, my beloved camera is now with whoever it is, with whoever has it. So yeah that was definitely a bummer so now the thing is that i only can shoot with my phone thankfully i got a new phone when i was in dubai i got the iphone 12 pro so the clarity on this one is pretty amazing but uh, yeah i don't have a camera that i can shoot with as of now so anything that you see for the next couple of days uh, or weeks till the time I can actually get a new camera because now Amazon is also closed all the other shops are closed so I don't have a camera with me and uh, my backup camera which is my 70D uska charger nahi mil rahe mujhe to charger lene ke liye bhi Amazon only if it starts or something like that can I get it so yeah I am pretty much screwed at this point 
so if you guys have any suggestions for me please let me know uh, please let me know in the comments and uh, now we are going to have lunch because i need to feel good about myself after sharing this tragic news with you guys okay let go so i've just sat down to have some lunch and uh, while i'm having lunch i am just going to go through a small training actually by l'oreal paris this is the stand up initiative that they have which is something that i feel very very strongly about because it talks about street harassment i know growing up i you know used to take public transport and there have been more times than i can count where i have faced you know some form of harassment and uh, it's actually very alarming to see that 80% of women globally say that they have faced some form of street harassment and uh, that is why i want to go through this training so that i can also learn how i can you know contribute to this cause and also maybe learn how to deal with a situation like this when i see someone else go through it or i go through it myself and i know that when i am faced with a situation like this and if i get some kind of external help how relieved i feel so that is also the reason why i feel like this is so important and uh, yeah i'm just going to quickly take the training and see you after The main objective of the L'Oreal Stand Up Initiative is to train 1 million people in India by the end of 2022 to their 5 Ds methodology. Uh, the 5 Ds stand for delay, delegate, document, direct and distract. Uh, these strategies have proven very very effective while dealing with street harassment or anything of that sort. I will also leave the link for this in the description down below if you guys want to check out the training and uh, honestly the stats are also pretty pretty alarming uh 62% said that someone intervened while witnessing sexual harassment whereas 86% said intervention actually improved the situation in india 54% said that someone intervened while witnessing sexual harassment 85% said that they experienced positive feelings after they they were intervened and 75 79% said that in, it improved the situation when someone intervened so this clearly shows how important it is for us to stand up when we see something like this happening and a training like this definitely helps you understand what you can do to fight this fight okay so i'm just done with the training now i am just going to do a little bit of editing and uh... See you later when I take Diva for a walk, because that is the only time that I get out of the house. Otherwise, I don't get out of the house. So I did not take my phone with me when I was walking Diva because I had too many things in my hand. Because I had to like carry her and I had to carry other things in a little. Bit. It was just I was not able to film that. So. So uh yes this is the end of the day my makeup looks crusty af even though my eyeliner looks like popping right now this yellow is one of those cryolin palettes that you get with like some bajillion colors i've used that on my eyes and i think that it's you know done a pretty good job obviously the lipstick has come off cuz then i have like eaten a million times and also worn the face mask while i was walking diva and uh, yes i guess i will end the vlog here nothing very special but i hope you guys still enjoyed this please let me know what you think in the comments down below and subscribe to my channel if you already haven't and hit that notification bell to be notified every time moi makes a video and like i always say